Oh! Whoa! 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 Dude! No! Another DNF? Are you kidding me? Hey guys, this is Mike Jones. And welcome to race 12 as we start our engines. Qualified 10th position. And uh, this should be a harder race. We should finish around 10th position unless I improve. In real life, Jimmy Johnson got 7th here, so we're going to try to get 7th. <laughs> I should be able to improve, but barely, if that. Like, I may qualify a little bit tougher, I think. So, or more realistic on where you should finish. Ryan Newman on the pole. I do not want him to win. I'm beating him currently for Rookie of the Year, so we're going to try to come up and beat him. Oh, I thought it said green flag. Ha! That was a bad idea. Just got in the back of... Green flag is up now. Alright. Let's do this, guys. I'm scared I'm going to crash, because on all my practice races, I crash. So, uh... The main thing is get onto the inside line and get out of this three-wide nonsense that's going to happen soon. Oh I'm going to just try to be conservative from the start and try not to be too aggressive. And try to get to the inside line. I am not forcing a three-wide, so Marlin, don't leave it open. Don't tempt me like that, Marlin. Oh! I like slow down too early, but uh, yeah, we're, whoa, Elliot tried to squish me into the wall and I was like, heck no, dude, can I get to the inside line, please, I'm just out of the groove where it slows you down, Woo! I do not like this outside line at all, we're falling back, if I can get to the inside, we'll be alright, because I like that line, the outside is just scary, Dang it! Oh, now I got teammates chasing me down. Holy cow, we are falling back, getting freight trained. Okay, we got it, we got it. Alright, Wood Button, we're gonna pass you again. Better be better than a 15th place car, I tell you that. Oh man, we have some speed coming out of that corner. If, if we do have a chance for the win, I hope it's not a dominating win, because then it would just seem like... I literally made this track harder, too. Like, out of the gate, it was a little bit too easy. This is the uh, 1999 version, I think? Yeah, it must be 99 version of Lowe's Motor Speedway from uh, Thunder 98, which is where I'm getting all my tracks. They're pretty decent tracks, honestly. And uh, Mark Martin, the points leader, is behind me, so even if I'm struggling, he should struggle too. And uh, since we have a pit stop, even if my car... I might be able to improve it throughout the race. So, uh, right now we're about a 4th, 15th place car. Exactly, so... Uh, this is a perfect difficulty. Oh! I know I always said I hate the outside line, but I went for it. And I'm leaving the door open for Martin there. Alright, I... Oh, don't... Why are you going for the pass, Robbie? I had a run on Robbie Gordon, but... Whew! Holy cow! I had a run on Robbie, but he went for the pass at the same time. I had to back out. Oh my goodness, this is going to be tough. I hope I'm fast in the long run, because... In a pack, my car is just all over the place. Well, hopefully we can get faster in the long run. Holy cow. And we got so much speed coming out of turn four. We are so fast out of turn four, but outside. middle of the turns, we're like scared, Still I think. There. Clear outside. Oh outside. my goodness. All right. Clear outside. I hit the curb and I'm gonna slide up, but we'll be all right here. We're still falling back. Yikes. This is at least a test of my skills, that's for sure, if I have any. Oh! Slid up right behind Robbie Gordon there. Here we go. All right. Gonna get by Robbie Gordon finally, hopefully. There's three wide in front of me up here. Clear. This, this track is scary. I don't know why. It's, I thought it was going to be like Texas or Atlanta. No, this track scares me. Like, it's 
it feels faster or something. Something's not correct. And I gave the inside to my teammate Terry Labonte, but I'm gonna get past Bill Elliott now. Whoops, through the grass. Uh oh, my car's getting hot. That's not a good sign. That is not a good sign at all. Looks like we got too much grill tape. So that's probably not good. We're right on the edge. I think we had a race earlier this season, though, that we were like that. I just don't remember where. Was it Las Vegas? Oh! Elliot just about put me in the wall. Holy cow, we're literally just fighting with these guys. This is perfect difficulty. Because I'm just fighting for positions here. I need to figure out how to go into turn one. If I can figure that out, I can definitely gain some position. It's like I let off a little bit too early. I'm not going to go three wide. I'm going to not go three wide just because that's too dangerous. I feel like my tire... Oh, I just hit the wall. I feel like my tires are going out already. Great. I hope I don't blow through my tires too early. I'm trying to fight with these guys. We're getting by Jeff Green, that's for position. We're up to 13th now, and now we're behind Mark Martin. All right, we're catching back up to Martin. Our car's overheating because we're stuck in the draft. So we need to get out of this drafting mess if we can. And at least out of the pack. Martin's gonna make a pass for Kenseth, and we're gonna try to follow him. Oh, jeez, the dope bomb that in there. Come on, Kenseth. All right, we're going to get by Kenseth. We're up to 12. We're finally making moves. All right, we can do this. Holy cow, this is tough. And Martin's just trying to keep passing cars. I don't want him to get a top 10. He's driving away in the point standing. We're gonna try to pass him going into turn three. I made him nervous, so he slid up the track and he lost some time to Marlin, which is what I wanted, and I might make the pass. All right, looks like we're on our way up now. So as we're spread, oh, maybe not. Martin, Martin just flew into turn one. Holy cow, I told you I still need to learn turn one. But once I do, you guys are gonna you guys are going to have to start getting worried. In turn three and four, it's like stupid fast coming out of the corner. I just hope I'm not tearing up my tires. Come on. Trying to make a pass on Martin once again. Stay low. Clear. Uh, why is it so hard to pass in turn one? It's just impossible. We're just going to keep fighting here with Martin. And it's making the leaders take off. I hope I... Whoa! He brake checked big time. That really slowed me down. And what that's going to... I just hope that uh, lap traffic slows down a leader so I have a chance. Even though this is kind of where I would like to finish. Because I feel like this is more realistic. Uh, I always want to go for the win. I slowed down a little bit too much that time. And man, it is hard to pass. I think we're faster too, that's the problem, is I think we're faster, it's just really hard to pass. Maybe that's what the problem is here, it's just too hard to pass. And the draft it makes the car like wacky for some reason, I don't know why. 12th place, we should at least be a 10th place car. So uh, we're just gonna stay behind Martin and try to make a move at some point. Martin's making a move on Marlin. I just hit the curb. Maybe I can get by Marlin if I can't get by Mark. Mark. Maybe I can get by Marlin. Oh my goodness. They like. They're fast. <laughs> wow, this is tough. Oh, we gotta run. We gotta run. Finally. Marlin might be slowing down finally. Maybe his tire's worn out faster than ours. I don't know. I need to die. I need to go in the corner deeper than that though, because I feel like these guys are gonna hit me at some point if I don't turn one. Can we catch Mark Martin? Well, uh, Martin took off. We got some lap traffic in front of us. And Ron Harn at a junior, and uh, Kevin LePage in front of us. 
Kevin LePage actually drove a 38 car, but I didn't have one, so I put him in his 37 car that he drives later in the season, because I don't think it really matters. He's going to have the same stats either way. So, yeah, we're going to try to get by Kevin LePage. Oh, my gosh. I did not think he was going to go that slow. Oh, my goodness. That killed me. That killed my speed. Luckily, Dale Jarrett up there got slowed down by a lap car, too. Holy cow. I did not expect him to be that slow. From now on, don't follow the line. Those guys do. Holy cow. In fact, all these leaders are stuck behind lap traffic, and it's slowing them majorly down. This is great news for us. I think we're on yellow tires already. Not quite. We got the 26 of Kimmel, or whatever his name is. And we caught up to the pack after I don't know how long, but that felt like forever. Oh, my goodness. Ryan Newman's right in front of us, too. And they're slowed down. Obviously, I'm not going to force a three wide still. It's just too early in the race for that nonsense. But, uh, yes, we're in the draft now. Terry Labonte behind me was trying to pass me a lot, too. So, uh, hopefully we can stay out in front of people and make our way to the top ten right now. And uh, the lap cars of the 90 down here is on the inside, so we might have to go around the outside of him. And we got another lap car, Steve Carissim, in the 44 also. This lap traffic is helping us so far. Whoa, here comes Terry Labonte. We're getting slowed down by this lap traffic just like these guys are. All right. Um, yeah. <laughs> Maybe if I wanted to, I could force it three wide. Oh, jeez, we don't bomb that in there. But that's going to help us get by two positions. Nice, that worked out. Whoa, they let off big time. Newman's trying to get by the lap traffic now. And we're in the top ten. <laughs> I don't know where to let off in turn one. I really don't. Uh, that was a good move. The 90 just decided to slam on the brakes because that's what the lap cars do. Whoa! Oh no, that's my tires. There goes my tires. Gosh dang it. Newman, why just slam on the brakes so hard? Oh, okay, not too bad. Not too bad. All right, we are in ninth place. Can we get by Newman now? I think we're faster than these guys now. On one. I just hit Newman. I just hit Newman. No! All those cars that I worked so hard to pass. Oh. Dang it, Newman. Why'd you slow down so much? I got overly aggressive, I think, is what happened. Now I'm out back in freaking 12. All right. We're still in the pack with these guys. I think we're still good enough to pass some of them. They like dive bombing into turn one and it sticks for them. I don't know why they're so fast and then they're able to get in the throttle faster. So we're gonna see if we can even pass these guys now. Oh, here we go, we gotta run. Whoa! He slowed way down. All right, we're gonna get by Martin there. My tires are gone already and they're not even yellow yet. It just You can just feel the car's slippery already. That's going to make it fun, but we are faster in the long run. Very long run is faster, it looks like. Because we are finally faster than these guys. If I could just get by Newman. Newman's the one making it hard to pass, just like real life. Wow. I was... I started in front of Terry Labonte and Bill Elliott. They're on their way up. Newman started pole, and... And I just killed him because he decided to break check me going to the corner. Well... All right, we're under caution, and that's payback anyway. I owed Newman one from earlier this season, and we are in 10th place. I wonder if I took him completely out. I got some damage that I probably should fix since we're not even halfway yet. We're almost halfway. Um, I don't even feel bad for wrecking him. Uh, I'm going to take four tires, all the fuel I need, all that good stuff. We're just gonna do everything a full stop. What is it, 45 here? Limit 45. Keep it under 30. Try to get some passes in the pit. On the front stretch. Nah, we're gonna stay in line. I don't want to risk anything dumb. Okay, where is? Cross flags. We're halfway on. I qualify. Remember, don't pass the stop sign at the end of pit road. Here it is. The pace cars in turn one. All right, not bad, not bad. 
Looks like we made it in here. How much damage did I have? I don't hear him working on it, so there must not have been too much. Probably gonna lose some time though to fix a little bit of that damage that I got. Oh, now they're working on go, it. Go, go, go! Okay, not Keep bad. Keep it under 45. Keep it under 3,500 in second. Watch that speed now. Keep it on 3,500 Oh, Gordon had a slow stop. Okay, you're clear of pit lane. Stay behind the 88 car. I don't know if I lost positions or gained it, but uh, let's go take a look at that replay. All right, I swear I didn't mean to wreck out Newman, but he's out. <laughs> this is obviously the caution. I didn't expect him just to stop like that, and in front of me I guess he slowed down earlier than me and uh, oh that's what wrecked him out oh my goodness oh no my teammate Joe Nemechek involved holy cow big time crashes holy cow we're gonna have to look at more replays than that okay here we go going in and oh man it looks like I just tried to kill him but I swear I didn't I locked up my tires trying to stop it, it was just too late and they started crashing behind him and they didn't even know how to dodge the wreck. They just barrel into it, race into the caution. Oh my goodness, we're gonna have a lot of cars out of the race after that one. Nadu, we had a bunch of flips. Let's watch one more replay. This way you're able to see the whole thing in spectator camera right here. So I take out Newman, I didn't even mean to. But there's my payback. Oh, Kenseth took out Mass trying to dodge it. Nice dodge by Kenseth. Robbie Gordon involved, Joe Nemechek involved. Kyle Petty upside down. We had it. Like, five cars go upside down. Oh, my goodness. John Andretti's out. Oh, my gosh. This is going to be a big list. Let's go to the green flag. Oh, Dale Earnhardt Jr. is blowing up. He was in third. That's going to put me back in the top ten. Oh, my goodness. All right, we're going green this time. by for me to read off all the people wrecked out. Uh, not including Dale Jr., who just blew an engine, but... Uh, 29th and down are out of the race. We've got four cars a lap down. Kevin Harvick, Robbie Gordon, Michael Waltrip, Ward Burton, Ken Schrader, Jeff Green, Joe Nemechek, Ryan Newman, Kyle Petty, John Andretti, Dave Blaney, Ron Hornaday Jr., Hermie Sadler, Kevin LePage, all out of the race in that wreck. And Sterling Martin blew an engine earlier, so we're going green this time by. We're going to have what? 47 laps to go at the line four lap cars in front of us to worry about that's probably gonna cause another caution because cautions bring cautions and uh, yeah this is gonna be a scary race now because now I'm gonna be having to fly through the pack if I can I really want to get a top 10 and it should be a lot easier being in 10th place now and being uh, ahead of all the like Get ready a couple now. cars Going being green. wrecked that were better than me. So uh, we should be a top 10 car now. Pink About to go man. green flag racing. I hope I can get a good jump. All right, let's do this. Not bad, not bad. Not bad from uh, how fast these guys are. Maybe it was bad, I don't know. I don't know why you slide up the track halfway through right there. Oh! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Dude! No! Another DNF? Are you kidding me? I'm mad. I am mad. I can't even drive. I can't even... The car won't even turn. Looks like we're bent up on the back end. The engine just... Get, oh, no, it didn't. You blew a tire. Oh, I hope I can fix some of this. I deserve it for taking out Newman. Gosh dang it, literally I can't, I cannot finish a race there. in the top 10. I swear I gave Bobby Labonte the room. I was in 10. Slid up the track like always in turn one. Labonte had plenty of room. Oh, okay, I came down a little bit and he just decided to get stuck to me. Uh, let's watch one more replay of that. Luckily, I don't think anybody else crashed, did they? How did a caution come out because of that? like destroyed my car from not even wow okay here's a better replay um that looks like it was his fault i'm gonna call that a racing deal though because i came down he came up oh man Ugh, i'm upset let's go to the green flag i'm still in the race luckily <laughs> all right guys we're going green this time by we're one lap down our car looks like this mess 
no hood, no front bumper, rear bumper is all destroyed. Somehow we were able to continue. We're going to be way off the pace, so we're just going to ride around and hope for um, another big one to take out Get some cars or blown engines and stuff. Maybe we'll be able to beat some of the cars that are damaged. I highly doubt it, though. We're about to go green flag. Let's see how slow we are compared to everybody else. <laughs> flag is out. Yeah, look how slow we are. Holy cow. Oh, my goodness. I'm gonna get ran over. I am literally getting ran over. Oh my goodness, we're slow. Jimmy Spencer behind me might be damaged. Nah, he's still faster than me. He's gonna say he might be damaged. But uh, yeah, let's just ride around. Well, guys, here comes the leaders. I really hope they don't kill me. I'm just gonna stay on the inside line the whole way. I can literally go full throttle and I'm stuck in third gear. That's how bad my car is. Rusty Wallace must have passed uh, Kurt Busch for the lead. Holy cow, they're way ahead. Oh, my engine just gave out. Keep it under 45. And Keep my car broke. 3500 in second. You blew the engine. Well, uh, we tried to ride around. Well, guys, that is our second DNF of the season. Engine finally just gave out. It wasn't overheating, so I stayed in third gear because it was a little faster than if I shifted into fourth. Stewart's got a huge lead. I would not be surprised if Mark Martin could catch him, though. The other damage car of Jimmy Spencer's there. Oh, my goodness. So, uh, yeah, they got 25 laps to go. I'll show you highlights, and uh, if there is nothing interesting, then I guess we'll just show you the last lap well uh white flag is out for tony stewart we got a four car battle for second though jeff burton's up there right now in the point position and if you remember right we were able to keep up with mark martin we weren't able to pass him but if he's a top five car we might have been able to get up there at some point it sucks it really sucks that uh that uh that happened i guess that's what happens when we cause a big wreck uh, karma kicks us in the butt right after but we still did better than newman so uh tony stewart wins rusty wallace second or something we'll go take a look at the results and standings all right here's your official results kurt bush actually led the most laps so that's five bonus points for him once again he finished all the way back in ninth he was doing better than that huh yeah it looks like uh, these top Four, maybe not Jeff Burton, but Martin, Wallace, and Stewart. One of those three are probably going to be the champion just from watching how they've been racing lately. But Stewart wins, leading 39 laps. Rusty Wallace second. Jeff Burton, Mark Martin, 22nd to fourth. That's pretty good. Holy cow, he qualified all the way back there. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. Did he really? He flew up there then because he passed me pretty fast. Wow. Because I qualified like 10th, I think. Ricky Rudd, Gordon, Jarrett, Kenseth, Kurt Busch, and Bill Elliott. And you're going to see like crappy people. Bobby Labonte, I should be mad at for taking me out. But you're going to see some crappy people finish decent. Casey Atwood gets a top 20 when uh, half the cars are out of the race. <laughs> I blew an engine and got 27th. Dale Earnhardt Jr. blew an engine and got 28th. Harvick on down to LePage. I don't know how many cars that is, but uh, it's a lot. What is that? It's 10, 11, 12, 13 cars in one rack that I caused. So we did gain points on Newman. Newman got 60. We got 82. Wow, that's not even very many. That's only 22 points. And uh, Sterling Marlin blew an engine, so that sucks for him. Now we can take a look at the standings. Mark Martin's lead was cut a little bit. By Rusty Wallace, who's now back to second. Kurt Busch, third. Tony Stewart, after two wins, is fourth. Ricky Rudd, still up in fifth. Bill Elliott, sixth. Kenseth Jr., Gordon. Jeff Burton makes his way up to tenth. We lose the top ten, and we are 570 points off the leader. Yikes. I don't know. That's a long ways already. But Martin's just been consistent. Twelve races, he has 11 top tens. That's insane. Ten top fives. That's really insane. Look at that. Compared to everybody else, Kurt Busch has seven top fives. 
Jeez, somebody needs to to start competing with uh, Martin, though. But anyway, we're 11th. Newman's 12th. He's 80 points behind us now, so we're still winning Rookie of the Year. Sterling Marlin having his issues is behind us. He he in real life he'd be the points leader right now, but he's had two DNFs and no top fives. Wow. Uh, as we keep going down, I think actually in real life Sterling Marlin probably would have won the championship, but I think he got hurt or sick or something halfway through the season, and that's what cost him the championship in real life. So that sucks. So we're probably going to see him fall down worse when he gets replaced by whoever. Probably Jamie McMurray is probably going to be there. So I think he's a rookie halfway through the season. But anyway, wow. Our teammate Terry Labonte is not doing good back in 21st. Yikes. That's okay. Ward Burton's not doing good. Harvick missed a race. Spencer missed a race. But they're both doing better than Craven, who's... DNF'd a lot. At least nobody has more than five DNFs, I don't think. Uh, Strickland, Mr. Race. Stacy Compton's still the worst out of everybody who has raced. Jeff Green's been doing awful, too. I thought he was better than that. Guess not. And, yeah, Kevin LePage is now tied for last with this dude because he got last place. They both got a last place finish. Nice. Um, anyway, next race is Dover, where we're going to have to come up and win because in real life, Jimmy Johnson won this race. I think he won three races in real life. California and both Dovers his first season, I believe. So we need to win both Dovers. Obviously, I'm going to make it slightly easier than that last race just because the last race I should have finished where I was running, but decided to crash. Look at that. It says, it says I should have put it at 97% difficulty. <laughs> That was, that was a perfect difficulty. It really was. And uh, California was too easy. It was telling me to make it harder. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, please click the like button. Subscribe if you're new. Hit the notification bell. If you made it to the end of the video, comment Monster Mile. So I know you made it to the end of the video. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys next time. Join the Discord chat. Follow me on Twitter. Click any of these things. Bye.